Hello and welcome to this interview for the SDG collection at Frontiers for Young Minds. My name is Sarah and today we'll interview the authors is of the article relating to SDG 12. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Yeah, sure. So uh, my name is Lana. I'm a first year PhD student. I joined CAUS last year in September and I'm part of Professor Georgie's Sustainability Separations Group. I'm George CK and I'm a professor in chemical engineering here at CAUST and I lead the Sustainable Separation Engineering Research Group. Wow, that's really cool. If your article was a headline, what would it be? If our article was a headline, um, it would be from waste to treasure, for example, um, or maybe biomass from organic matter to driving uh, sustainability solutions worldwide. Okay, the and the next one is, could you tell us more about your research here at KAUST? Okay, so in general, our group is focusing on providing sustainable solutions to uh, today's uh, challenges, such as the uh, water crisis, energy crisis. And we are developing new types of materials from uh, biomass and biopolymers to achieve these goals. Good afternoon, my name is Karim, nice to meet you. The first question is, how does your research help towards achieving SDG 12? Um, so SDG 12, or Sustainability Development Goal 12, is all about the responsible consumption and production. So ultimately, we are trying to look at saving resources, saving the planet, and maintaining these resources for the future generations. And so how, how our research helps with uh, maintaining the SDG 12 is by moving away from polymeric materials and looking at materials that are much more biodegradable, so they can break down easily in nature, um, or materials that are recyclable, so they can be used for um, making other materials, um, they're not toxic, for example, not harmful. Um, and so that's ultimately how our research is being used to help achieve SDG 12. Thank you. And the fourth question is, what other SDGs does your research support? Okay, so Lana introduced the materials that we are working on based on biopolymers and biomass. So these materials can be used for many different purposes. So we are also working on pharmaceutical purification and isolation, isolation of natural products, and these support SDG3, which is about health. We are also working on desalination to remove um, salts from water, and, and therefore we contribute to SDG6, which is about clean water. And our membranes and different adsorbents can be used to um, scavenge different um, pollutants that are present in water. So we are contributing to SDG 14, which, which is about life below water. Hi, my name is Arnaud. Is, is your research being used in the real world? If so, how? Hello Arnaud, thank you for the question. Yes, we are working with several uh, companies here in Saudi Arabia. And we are trying to work on desalination with uh, SWEC, where we are optimizing different processes to remove or reduce the um, energy consumption of uh, desalination processes. We are also working with other companies where they produce some sort of waste and we try to take that waste and turn it into valuable uh, materials. Also, we are interested in um, turning biopolymers into smart shades with um, Aramco that can be used on algae uh, ponds. How many researchers led this article? Um, so ultimately, writing this article, it was actually co-authored by myself and Professor Georgie. Um, but the whole team in our group, we've contributed to this article from the papers that they've written. We are a group of 18 people, um, and the topics that are covered range from waste to other separation process methods. And me, myself, I, I personally work in the machine learning um, aspect of the sustainability separations group. Um, but yeah, as I said, it's, we, we, it's ultimately a group contribution but um, two people wrote the, um, the article. Thank yeah. you. Hello, my name is Santi and I have the last question. What is the most important thing you would like us to learn from your article? Okay, so in my opinion, one of the elements that, uh, that is crucial is upcycling. So the takeaway message is that once you produce a waste, that can be used to create new materials and much more exciting materials. So don't look at waste as a, as a low value material, 
but in the future I'm pretty sure that it's going to be something uh, very valuable that people will start uh, fighting for to create new materials. Lana, what is your opinion? So yeah, just adding on to what Professor Georgie said, it's 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 also important that we apply this to um, our everyday everyday life activities. So you know, considering what we do and how we can make it sustainable. So you know, making sure we're reducing waste, recycling, um, etc. Et so and also just to continue reading about how we can make our activities much more sustainable. And there is okay. a saying that sums this up, yeah. which is. One's man, one man's uh, waste is another man's treasure. Right. Right. Yes. All right. Thank you.